Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBan and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Django relationships and in specific we'll talk about the one-to-one -one relationship in Django. So if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so relationships are kind of relating to tables or in Django words we should say relating to models. So relating to models is quite easy with Django. It has full support for it. Now whether it be a one to one relationship or many to one, many to many, whatever be, there is a, a quite a lot of support from the Django side. So. Uh, uh, in this video, we are going to be talking about the one-to-one -one relationship. Now, the other relationships, I'll uh, put the video separate videos for them. Now, for this one, uh, will uh, what I have here at present is I have created a new Django project. Now, I have uh, uh, the virtual environment activated. Now, I have also created a core application, an application named Core. Now, the example we are going to do is. Uh, we are relating the user and a phone model, phone, P-H-O-N-E, phone, the phone number. So uh, the relation between these two is a user will have one phone number. And similarly, a phone number will be associated with the user. So uh, uh, which means um, the one-to-one -one relationship uh, is uh, if we take the any user in the user model, uh, that user will have exactly one uh, phone number exactly one phone number that's it now if we take uh, the phone table the phone model then any uh, row uh, or any object in that phone model will be associated which means a phone number will be associated with exactly one user so that's a kind of one to one relationship you know no multiple elements a, a user will have only one phone number and a phone number will be associated with only one user so that's the kind of logic we are going to build so uh, in the core uh, application in the models dot uh, py I'll just create a new uh, class I'll name it as phone and which extends now since we have the user model built into Django we, we won't be uh, doing that again uh, so let's say models dot model and in here I'll have an ID by default so we want we don't want to explicitly say that and the next thing I'm uh, doing is phone number the actual phone number so I'll put this as a car field for instance with a max length of uh, I'll just say 10 for instance now the next thing uh, the general idea of the thing is that the in the phone table will have a field called uh, the, the name is up to you but that field will serve as uh, the relation to uh, the user model so if you try to make an object of phone or if you try to make a phone object if you try to enter a new phone number then that phone number should be associated with one user exactly one user so we, we should have a field here something like user ID or the name the name is up to you so the user ID is equal to which will be a one to one field now that's a particular model field in Django models dot one to one field since this is the uh, logic we are doing uh, the phone number should be associated with only one user one and only user so uh, there is a field called one to one field now this one to one field the first argument is which model to relate to so uh, the phone number is associated with the user model and we need to import the user model so I'll just uh, import that up here you can see now the next argument is on delete which means if we delete the user model if we delete a particular user uh, whether we need to delete his phone number his phone object or not that that's the question here on delete is equal to if, if you delete that particular user uh, you want to delete that phone his phone number his phone object or not if you want to delete then you can just say models dot cascade which will automatically delete uh, that thing for you if you delete the user model that will also create uh, also delete that the related phone object so uh, the other thing in here is do nothing which means uh, uh, if we uh, delete the user object it will not delete the phone object the related phone object so you can either uh, you can use either of this one now there is also another thing which I'll, I'll not be discussing so 
I'll just stick with cascade. So if that user object is deleted, then all of its associated phone number, not all of this, his associated phone number, the one and only phone number will be deleted. That object will be deleted. So I'll just say like that and uh, I'll put a string representation here, the def uh, string and I'll just return the phone uh, number for that specific object so that's it that's about the model now the next thing uh, I'll be using admin panel to make uh, those elements those phone objects and all so in the admin panel I'll just register the site so admin dot site dot uh, register then the model you now the model is phone I'll just import that phone up here so I'll just say just like that and that's it now the next thing we are go going to do is uh, making the migration so I'll just say python manage.py make migrations and the next thing it uh, changes no changes today yeah, that's why uh, that's because I haven't uh, put the core in the installed applications in my settings so in my settings uh, in the installed app sections I'll just put that core right there so with that being said, if I make migrations, yeah, that created the phone model. Now, next thing is nothing but migrate. So I'll uh, I'll be using the default SQLite stuff. So all those stuffs are migrated to the SQLite database. Now, with that being said, next thing is uh, making a super super user so that I can add those phone and user objects. So I'll say super user. Now I'll just stick with admin and just a, a random email again admin as the password I'll just bypass the validation and that's done now the next thing uh, is I'll just uh, run the server so python manage.py run server so uh, if I go into uh, this URL right there now uh, let me take the admin slash admin and uh, I'll just enter my uh, username my credentials there and in here you can see that phones there now we already have created the super user right so we, we have that user right in here with an ID of one so we won't be creating any new users we'll just stick with that super user now we'll create a phone for him just a, a phone uh, and I'll just add that phone here and I'll just stick with a random phone number there now the user ID is admin which means the user which uh, user is associated with this phone number so I'll just stick with admin admin doesn't have a phone number yet so I'll create one and I save that now in admin panel you can see if I try to add a new phone number for the uh, same user again it will pops out the error and if I do that like that and if I try to save that it says please correct the yellow below phone with this user ID already exists so which means our one to one field is working now we don't want this in admin panel we'll use our own view we'll just create that and uh, with that being said we have one user and a phone number associated with him right so the next thing we are going to be doing is uh, in the views.py I'll just create a new uh, a view for that uh, just to display how these things work uh, in views so I'll say my view and uh, which takes in the request and in here uh, I'll just pass the things and I'll just create the basic URLs there so in the main app URLs I'll just redirect that so in here I'll add a new path of the home page and uh, I'll just include uh, the our app app core dot URLs so I'll just import the include there just like that and uh, include is nothing but this one this import and we don't have a urls file there so in the core app i'll just create a new file named as urls.py now in here i'll just copy and paste the same exact thing we'll just refactor that in a moment so i'll just copy and paste we'll get rid of this admin and the include stuff there so in the url patterns we don't need the admin anymore we don't need yeah the home path will just redirect to the view that we just created so i'll just say views dot my view now we'll just import that view here and uh, yeah that's it now uh, everything is fine now the control is here now in here what i'm gonna be doing is uh, if you want to take um, uh, suppose if I I have the user model I have a user object in my hand or just a user ID I have 
So I want to uh, find the phone number associated to that particular user. So in, in that use case, what I'll do is I'll just create a variable user phone is equal to I, I, I told that I have a user object so in real cases you'll, you'll get that uh, you know request dot user or you'll get that user ID by any ways so in this case I'll just explicitly say like uh, I'll just import the user here and I'll just explicitly say like user dot objects dot get I'll just say ID is equal to one just be explicit in your case it'll be like request dot user or any similar thing so I want to get this user. This is the super user that we have created uh, and, and, uh, just before. So I want to get the phone number of this user. That's the task I have to do. So um, uh, in uh, without the ORM support, you, you can actually say like, uh, this is the user object. Now uh, in here, if I want to find the phone number, I'll just say phone is equal to, um, what I'll say is phone dot objects. Uh, I'll just import the phone here up at the top and phone.objects.get now uh, the uh, user ID will be whatever we get the the user from here so user ID is equal to user dot ID so this will be the regular format the without you know the uh, relationship actually using so this was uh, the a regular method to do so so with the relationship being said there in the models the one-to-one -one we have already set so you can just say get this users phone by just say phone that's it now that, that, that's all you need just get that for now this the name in here is uh, the related name which is actually the, by default uh, the model name the uh, lowercase of model name now if you want to get uh, rid of uh, the uh, the default one so suppose if you want to get uh, something like dot number and no for short now if you want to get that functionality all you have all I have to say is in the models there is a third argument called related name and just uh, say that to NO. Now you can actually use NO as uh, the phone number to get that phone number of that user. So I'll, I'll I'll just show you both both the ways. So I'll just stick with the default for for instance, and uh, in the views I'll just fetch that phone that user's phone. Now um, I'll j just fetch that object. Now if I just try to print the user there, and if uh, we run the code again, we'll just go to the home page. And you can see uh, it, does, it doesn't give you that HTTP response, but the print statement will give you that number. So you are getting the exact number with just dot form. That's it. You're getting that relationship up and running. So this is the string representation. Actually, we are returning the uh, in the models. We are returning the self dot phone number. So that's the phone number here. And you can of course use the user. Uh, you, you can do some complex things in here. That's up to you. Now. You get that object that's the first thing now phone is uh, an object right so if i print the type of phone in here you can see that it is actually a phone object so if i do the uh, server restart again now you can see this is actually a phone object so that's perfect now uh, you can access like phone dot phone number or phone dot any other field you specified in the model so that's totally possible so that's how you do access the phone from a user object now the uh, if we change uh, the model the related name in here as i have just showed you showed you related name is equal to let me stick with number no for short and in the views you can just access that with no so if i save that again and if i refresh this one again you can see uh, the uh, same thing it's the same exact thing the code is again working the class core dot uh, uh, the is uh, the type of the uh, user actually uh, so that's perfectly working now uh, this is how you fetch the uh, phone number from the user object now the reverse is also possible which means if you want to fetch the user now actually this is the user phone we are fetching the phone right so I'll just say user phone there now the thing is that uh, uh, I'll just revert this back to the previous one as no looks strange there. So I'll just get rid of this related name there. Now uh, the thing is that in order to get the user associated with the phone number, you can actually say like phone, which is our model, 
dot objects dot get now uh, I'll just get uh, uh, the phone number we just created in the admin panel which has the ID of one so uh, I'm just explicitly uh, fetching that object in your case you'll get that from the URL or somewhere else so if you want to find the user associated with this phone object this phone number for instance what I could say is just say dot and access the user ID now user ID is uh, this one uh, this field right in here the name of the field so if I do something like this one it will give me the user object so if I say friend user here you can see um, if I run the server again you can see that we got that admin and now the admin is the username so the default string representation of the user model returns the username so um, you can of course this if you print the type here it, it is actually a user object so if I do run the uh, server again you can see that uh, actually yeah. let me run the server again you can see that it is actually a user object so you can access any methods here like user ID dot username or first name or last name or email anything you can access that's up to you so this is how you fetch things using relationships now this is very handy otherwise you you, you have done multiple queries and all so this one makes it much more easier with the Django relationships. Now this is all about the one-to-one -one relationship. Now in the next ones we'll talk about the uh, many-to-many -many and uh, one-to-many and all those stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. You understood the video. So if you have any errors or any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I will definitely help you out. So uh, that's it, guys. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon here to it. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the very next one.